I was listening to the Bible this morning and this verse popped up. Leviticus 22, so you shall keep my commandments and do them. I'm the Lord and you shall not profane my holy name that I may be sanctified among the people of Israel. I'm the Lord who sanctifies you. I don't say this a whole lot, but I like how the NIV put this verse. Do not profane my holy name for I must be acknowledged as holy by the Israelites. I am the Lord who made you holy. So here's my question. Are we actually, as the people of God, because make no mistake, you are Israel according to the Bible if you believe in Yeshua and that the God of the Bible is your God. Romans 11, Ephesians 2, and various other places throughout the scriptures say that you are Israel when you become a follower of the Most High and His Son Yeshua. So keeping that in mind, as Israel, as God's people, as followers of Jesus, are we making the Father holy? Are we acknowledging Him as holy? Because all throughout the Torah, God tells us what He says is holy. So why does the church think it's a bad thing to follow the commandments in the Torah that are in our power to keep? Even Paul in Romans 7 says the law is holy and the commandments are holy and righteous and good. So why are people fighting tooth and nail against doing what God asked us to do in the beginning of the book? The exact same thing that Jesus did. The exact same thing that all of the apostles, including Paul, did. Because they all kept the commandments of the Torah and taught us to keep the commandments of the Torah. So why aren't we doing it? If you really think the law is holy and righteous and just and good, why do you think it needed to be nailed to the cross? The simple answer, it wasn't nailed to the cross. Colossians 2, And you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. It was your debt from your previous life that was nailed to the cross with Yeshua. So why are you creating all new debts now? Instead of forsaking the sins that caused that debt in your previous life, you're continuing to live in them. Why? Matthew 15, the people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching his doctrines the commandments of men. Well, guess what? This whole doctrine that you don't need to keep the commandments anymore, that's from men. That's not from God. That's not from Jesus. That's not even from Paul. The commandments in the Torah came from God, not from men. And if you can't see that, you've been deceived and you're on that wide path that leads to destruction.